Right then guys, it's a bit dark because I've not got the studio lights on because I'm trying to keep the temperature down in the office. We've got the rig that you saw yesterday, which is obviously what we're going to be working on in a minute. I've just been and got myself some acetone, which I need to suspend the dry ice in. Got myself some protective gloves, just in case I do actually touch the dry ice. But That in there, there's two bags of it in there. Obviously it's in a protective container and obviously I blatantly don't want to be touching it but that's my 20 kilograms of dry ice now just giving you a little bit of a start because I've got some cloth sat ready I don't know how I'm going to get it from the container yet to the dice pot I may have to just improvise you know what I mean just to get it in there but I'm going to uh, do some basic runs now um, and yeah uh, the nerves are starting to set in Oh, blimey. Um, right, suppose it's time to go sub zero. Yeah, the office is a bomb site at the moment, as you can see, because uh, I've got everything cleared, ready to do this. And cool, blimey. Right, it's time to freeze a thousand pound processor. Hey guys, little update, uh, trials and tribulations of uh, overclocking. Right, I've had to take it all out. Uh, I had uh, the best clock that I was uh, able to boot in at was, uh, I'm just having a look now, 5.74 gigahertz. It was 205 bus times 28. Uh, and I was able to get in Windows at that and it was running fine. Uh, I was doing that with the last screenshot was uh, 1.78 volts uh, and basically I bumped the multiplier up 1 which gave me 5.945 gigahertz and uh, basically with CPU-Z you've either got to uh, validate online or save the files and I was saving the files and going to man manually update later. Now as I clicked save it blue screened and I've not been able to get the rig started again since and it's actually been C1 error looping which is normally memory I had a look around we had no due no nothing like that the memory was actually running relatively low as well uh, I was running it on quite a low divider but I've not actually been able to get back into the BIOS again uh, because every time the screen would normally come up with your post screen it was basically saying there was no signal hanging on a C1 and then going back round in a loop again so basically after warming the pot up taking everything out I'm essentially now going to be taking the CPU out, warming the socket up, trying the CPU in another rig. If the CPU works here, I'm going to try it back in this again because it, it could mean that the uh, the motherboards uh, died. Uh, it could be that the memory control on the CPU is gone. It could be something in the north bridge is gone. We really don't know. But nothing had got hot. Nothing had got wet. Uh, I'd been really, really careful. Um, but obviously when you're running massive volts and you know doing ridiculous things like this you always run a risk of something dying um, and it's not necessarily, do you know what I mean, it probably is my fault because at the end of the day I'm the one that's doing everything um, but it's not necessarily, do you know what I mean, a fault of the board is kind of the thing that I was you know, meaning to say but if the 980X has gone, then never mind. Uh, I see 5945 on it, so I'm relatively happy. I was really, really wanting to get a validation of about 596, <coughs> 59, sorry, or 6 gigahertz. I'd love to have got that far. And to have got that close and not been able to have got a screenshot, um, I'm not really very happy, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, it has been an absolute mission. I've not even got through half a bag of dry ice. Uh, so... Yeah, I really don't know what I'm going to do. I really hope, if anything, to be perfectly honest with you, that it's just the 980 that's gone pop uh, and the, the memory controller, IMC, whatever you want to call it, on the CPU has given up the ghost for whatever reason. There was crazy volts going through the uh, main part of the CPU. 
But if that's gone, then it's time for the 980 to go in. It also means a hell of a lot more work for me because I've got to dig all the patty out, get another CPU in there, all that kind of stuff. But we're going to give it a go. Um, if the 980 has gone and the board's all right, wicked, but then it also means that I'm going to be getting straight on the phone to Intel to make sure that if the 990 goes, they can send me another one. So we will see. Uh, literally, this is going to end up, this video is going to end up like uh, a video blog. Because I really haven't got a clue what's going on now. I've got a lot of work to get done. I just wanted to give you a bit of a chit chat beforehand. Uh, so, am I going to be doing any more overclocking? Or am I just going to have lots of mates coming around for frothy drinks and foaming drinks? I have no idea. But, only time will tell. So, I will uh, speak to you in the video in a little bit. Right, guys. After some ghetto literally ripping putty off digging the CPU out uh, I put the 980 in another rig and it's doing exactly the same thing so good news is depending on your point of view is the 980X died after giving us a clock of 5.945 gigahertz with 1.8 volts going through it she did in the end blue screen and die and it uh, just won't display at all anymore um, not sure what I'm going to do yet uh, first thing that springs to mind because it's not really a lot of good is make a keyring out of it second thing that springs to mind is should I make a video about it should I get it engraved and uh, put like the date that it died that I killed it and then auction it on eBay for charity because it's no good to me uh, yeah, it's just an idea that's going through my head at the moment. We could do it for a good charity, put it out there, and then someone can, do you know what I mean? It's Money won't be going to me, it'll be going to you know a good cause, and it's something pretty unique that uh, some enthusiasts may want an expensive 980X keyring. But anyway, it's just an idea going through my head, so we'll see what you guys think. We'll put it in the comments, we'll put it up on the forums as well and see what they think. Uh, so yeah, could be interesting. Uh, basically now, I need to get hold of Intel. I need to, because um, I would love to stick the 990 in. I just need that little bit of security that if I kill it, they're going to send me another one. Or, even better, I know there's another one coming and then I won't mind killing it. So I need to talk to Intel first, um, because I don't want to kill the, the, the 990, because it's a lovely chip. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's meant to be going in my own personal main rig. So I don't really want to cut my arm off. Good thing is, is that the board has taken so much abuse. Um, and like I said, the chips died. The board's absolutely humming along. It's still lovely. Um, so yeah, maybe my uh, uh, I was a little bit too um, adventurous with the uh, voltages, but it did need those voltages to be able to go from the 5.7 up to the 5.9. Otherwise, it was just it wasn't entertaining the idea at all um, so maybe we just should really have been happy with the fact that the chip was doing 5.7 and it was at a rough wall there rather than cranking the volts up even further um, but I have to admit I'm going to do a proper review on it anyway but this board is so easy to work with it's unbelievable the uh, board itself wouldn't actually uh, oh sorry the chip wouldn't uh, get into windows but any higher but the fact you've got those little buttons that you can nudge up is so, it's um, it's absolutely brilliant. Anyway, uh, that's where we are at this present moment in time. Uh, I have tried ringing Intel. Uh, I think he must be in a meeting. Um, so only time will tell now whether I manage to get the nod for the 990. If I do, then we're going to be carrying on. If we don't, this could be over quite soon. And I've got a lot of dry ice sat there. So, hmm, might be freezing an AMD in a bit then. <laughs> Only time will tell. Anyway, this is Tiny Tom Logan with another video for you. Not out? What am I on about? No, no, we're not out. <whistles> anyway, madman, maybe there is a little bit too much carbon dioxide in the air. Uh, I'm going to leave this here and I'll give you an update in a minute. Like I said, this is going to end up like a video blog, but all nailed together. Um, so, yeah, be back soon. Right guys, this is a full-on video blog today. I've literally just got off the phone to Intel. 
Uh, essentially, if they've got a 990 there, they're going to send me that. Worst case scenario, they're going to order some more in, but I've been given the green light to put mine in. It will be, uh, they will send me another one, no matter what happens, whether I kill it or not, they're going to send me another 990. So I'm going to be a little bit more cautious with this one, uh, because uh, the 980 was technically the processor that I've been using lately for my triple screen reviews. So I do kind of need a couple of them. Um, but yeah, we're, we're going to have to see now. Basically, I've got an immense amount of work to do now because I've now got to put the 990 in there, re-putty round everything, um, basically get the rig all built up again and then start dicing again. Um, so I've got a fair amount of work to get done. Uh, yeah, this is going to end up a strange video and I apologise, but... I need to be quiet now, get my head down, because I've got a lot of work to do. So, yeah, I will be back with another video blog style update in a minute. <laughs> right, guys. Uh, basically, what I'm going to do now is get ready for the 990, but we're going to make this the 980 video, and I'm going to get this uploaded for you all to have a look at. I'm just going to explain something quickly. That's where we got to, and basically at 5. 7.4 I then bumped the multiplier up to 29 giving me 5.945 and that's where she blue screened and shut down that was with very high voltage but I needed that to be able to get into windows and then obviously still you know remotely be able to get that multiplier bumped up a bit more um, so just turn my camera screen around so I can see Basically now I'm going to get ready for the 990 and get that in. But this is the end of the uh, 980X video because it's the end of the 980X. I uh, could have a very expensive key ring here. So sadly, as I promised, I was going to push the uh, 980 to the end, well, to destruction basically, and uh, I have destructed it. She is officially gone. The office is a complete bomb site. I've got a lot of work to do because I've got to get all the putty and everything like that ready. But yeah, 1.8 volts, 5.74 validated, but it did go up there, although it didn't last very long at 5.945. But I've got so close to 6 gigahertz now. Uh, now I've been given the green light by Intel. It's time to you know see if I can get the 990 to 6. If I can get it to 6, I will validate it and then I'll drop everything back and we'll look for a stable uh, clock to start running uh, the, some graphics benches with. I just want to see 6. Uh, so as long as I don't kill the 990, then uh, we may have uh, you know a fairly big video for the next software. But, like I said, I know this has turned into a video blog kind of video, but you can at least see you know the ins and outs of what's going on. It's now half past four on the 23rd. I've got a lot of dry eyes left. I've got a lot of work to do. So I'm going to love you and leave you. And uh, yeah, tomorrow you could well be seeing the, uh, the 990 video and see how far we can get. And can I get that? You know what I mean? Has it got six gigahertz in it? Because I think if I disabled the hyper threading and maybe gone to slow speed on the 980, I think I may have got there. But I was trying to see how much it had with it first and I just never got a chance to go that little bit further but anyway again noob uh, uh, obviously I, I've been overclocking for a long time but this is all very new to me so I'm not you know pretending to be a master or anything like that but this is just my journey with a big pot of uh, a big box of dry ice a dice pot and the X58 overclock and I've got to say although I killed the processor the board is so easy to work with it's unbelievable but anyway, like I said, I'm going to love you and leave you here. This is it for today. Keep your eyeballs peeled because tomorrow we may have uh, another video for you uh, with the 990. Uh, I'm going to be a little bit more sensible this time though, so don't worry. Anyway, this is Tiny Tom Logan with another video for you. Out.